Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding NPV queries and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past two years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called NPV with three different columns id year and npv and the combination of id and year column is the primary key of this table the table has information about the id and the year of each inventory and the corresponding net present value so npv stands for net present value we are also given a second table called queries with two different columns id and the year and the combination of id and year is the primary key of this table and it has information about the id and the year of each inventory Okay, we are asked to write a SQL query to find the net present value of each query of the queries table. So for everything in this query queries table, we need to find the net present value. Return the result in any order. Let's go through this example. So here we have an NPV table which has different IDs and years and the net present value. And then we also have a queries table and where different IDs and year is present. So obviously for each of these queries, that is ID and year, we need to return the net present value. So obviously since the information is in two different tables, we need to firstly merge the information. And how do we merge information? We merge it by using a join, right? So let's join this, right? So from, queries table let's alias it as q left to join the the second table is called npv and since it is short form let's not uh, alias it as something else so left join npv table on now let's see how do we join these so firstly we can join this on q dot id so queries table id column is equal to the npv dot id but it is not sufficient why it is not sufficient because if you see so for the cursor when it goes to 1 1 2019 it will try to find out 1 in this right so it will find 1 here so it will return 1 2019 1 2018 100 but it will again find 1 here so it will have another thing so uh, what it will have so 1 2019 then it will find one here so 1 2018 100 in the the npv column then again since the cursor is still here so 1 2019 and it will find one here so 1 2019 and 113 but if you see this row is useless because for the id 1 and year 2019 we are having in this row the net present value of year 2018 does not make sense right so we should not include these kind of things one way to do this is by filtering but another smart way to do it while performing a join you can make sure that not only your ids are same but also the year that it is have that it, uh, these tables have are also same so and q dot year is equal to npv dot year so now such rows won't be present right now what do we need to do we need to return the id year and the net present value okay so return q dot id q dot year and the net present value right now let's see here for id equal to 7 for 2018 and 2019 the net present value is 0 right but when we are going to join this right so for 7 2018 for 7 2018 it tries to see in the npv table and you cannot find 7 2018 you can find 7 but you cannot find 7 2018 so in that case since we are performing a left join in our case what will happen so 7 
2018 let's say right so it will try to find out 7 2018 so since there is no 7 2018 it will have null 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 values right so but 7 28 in the output is having zero again so because of this we need to use case when statements so case when the npv value is not null then only return the npv value else you return the zero value right so case when after performing the join if npv column so the capital npv is the name of the table and the small npv is the name of the column so capital npv so npv table column small npv is not null then what do you result then you return this value in that npv column else what do you do you return zero so for all this null stuff you return zero you end the case statement and alias the final output as npv if, if you don't want to do it since it is already npv we can do that as well so npv and this looks good we do not need to order the result as well so let's go ahead and run this to see if this makes sense and it gets accepted so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases runs very fast as well so this is how we solve such kind of problems and again to retreat try to see if we can you know only include the necessary rows instead of having all the rows because then if you have all the rows any way to get the correct result you will have to filter some of the rows so if you can perform joins on two different columns at the same time it is not an issue so try to do that let me know how you guys found this video and until then i will see you guys in the next video